The primary lighting sources in the ancient world, including Rome, were oil lamps and torches. But those second ones are big and burn quickly, so they are not very handy unless you need a massive light source. So, oil lamps. They are one of the oldest inventions of humanity. First oil lamps date back to at least 12,000 BC. Later they were used by the ancient Egyptians and Greeks. There's a record telling us about a, a huge oil lamp that was kept in the Acropolis in Athens. It was called Kalimakos, which literally means the golden lamp, and it uh, burned daily with only one refill per year. Finally, Romans brought them to Europe where people continued to use them with some minor adjustments all the way up to the 18th century. Ancient Romans used oil lamps outdoors to light their paths while walking after dark, as well as indoors to light their houses. They also utilized them to light venues for after dark sporting events, such as gladiator shows. Oil lamps were often buried in graves and tombs along jewelry and pottery. Interestingly, Romans also did use them at the theater to indicate when the scene was supposed to be set at night. In ancient times, oil lamps were made out of different materials such as stone, glass or metal, but definitely the most popular were clay ones such as this one here. Now if you wanted to have more light, you could have more lamps of course, but if you wanted to be a bit more fancy, you could buy a lamp with more such holes here and with more wicks, but keep in mind that the more actively burning flames you had, the more oil was used and therefore the more expensive it was. They had different depictions on the top with various scenes. Mine has two gladiators fighting each other, but there were plenty of different pictures out there. Usually on the lamp's base was a maker's mark, which was a name or a symbol indicating the workshop that had created the lamp. Now let's see how do you actually light it. You have one hole here where you pour your fuel, your oil. There were many types of oil used in the ancient times. However, the most prominent was of course olive oil. That's also what I am using here. So now you have to pour it inside. Now we put here our wick, which was usually a piece of linen like this, but it could be another fabric. Really, everything suitable and available was used. For example, in ancient Egypt, often a piece of papyrus was used instead. Now we place the wick inside. Now we have to just light the wick. As you can see, this is a very simple device. However, it is really quite handy and it can burn for quite some time. 